it's your fault. Every time he had his way with me, he would say that. He would blame me as if I was the genesis of the evil that resided within his heart. Every time he had his way with me, he would threaten me about death, about hurt, about pain unimaginable. I always wondered, what kind of pain would be worse than what he did to me every time mom was away? Mom trusted him. Mom trusted him to take care of me. After all, he is our brother. But every time mom was away, he would turn into a beast. The beast that hurts. The beast without mercy. Eight years old, and I experienced a pain I never thought I would in my small world. My small world filled with protection, roses and flowers, princes and charming chariots, but I was turned into his harlot. Every time we were alone, I would experience that pain, go through that shame. Every time he would say it's my fault, he would blame me. Every time he would scare me almost to death, I wished I could die. I wished I could just bury myself in the ground. Every time he satisfied himself, I prayed for my death. Nine years and I thought of ways of killing myself. I thought of ways to disappear. After all, I was the root of this evil. I thought of a honey. I thought of a knife. I thought of a death less painful than what I went through when I was alone with him. So I tried it. I thought pills would be better. The pain was excruciating. The pain in my stomach, I can go through that again. He saved me. The devil saved me. Pump them out and I wish them to hell for saving my life, taking away respite, solace from the pain I went through when I was alone with him. They never understood why. Why time without number I would try to get out of this existence. They never heard my cry. So I bore it. That pain, that shame, the horrific menstruations. I worried for a while. At 13, he left. And I disappeared into him. I still haven't found myself. Hi, I'm Brima. I'm a poet and a teacher as well. I'm very passionate about the underdog. Uh, everywhere I see that there's something wrong, I want to fight for those people, those who can fight for themselves. And I'm very passionate about uh, this theme this year where we are speaking out against rap because I have seen it happening around your neighborhood where you think that it's safe to walk out during the day and then you hear that some people are being raped during the day so it's very sad and it's something that we really need to speak out against. So.